Hello YouTube, it's me, Unicorn Guy here, and I am here with Mega Man 64 or Mega Man Legends 1, um, if you're um, if you're a PS1 player. Now, um, this is oh, by Man. far one of my f this is by far my favorite game for uh, N64, right up there with uh, Orcarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Uh, Majora's what? Mask, I'd have to say it's behind Mark? Mega Man. I, I mean, they're okay. all at the top, they're all at the same place, but I mean, way, if I had to choose absolutely three N64 games I couldn't live without, like um, it'd be Orcarina of Time, uh, Mega Man 64, and Majora's Mask, in that order. But. This there. is. There goes one. I think this is an amazing game. For N64. Um, I'm sure you know of the, you know, classic Mega Man. And why Capcom ever deviated from that, I don't know. And made this, and then went back to it. But oh Capcom no, did a really good job here. The city. Um, is still in there. But basically, Mega Man is Mega a Man. miner go here. Sure he's all right. And he's searching for something called a refractor. Whoa! And with refractor it creates energy because basically the whole entire Earth it's covered with water now, and they need refractor shards in order to get energy. Now this game, I absolutely love this game. I've replayed this game like Hold so up, many I... times over. You can't go in there. And I've blogged this a lot of hours into this off. game as well. Please, I mean, collectively, but I mean, for one game save, I would say the average is about nine hours. So, hmm? realistically, you, you could complete either. this game in a day if you uh, just if you say if you woke up at 10 a.m. and just sat down in front of your uh, N64, have you could probably island. complete this game just at like they said they close would. to seven, if not They're right at seven the on the dot or a little bit after here. seven. Enough talk. Um, you I really like the voiceovers here. in this game. Now. It's, I mean, Pirate. for a 90s game and for an S64 game, They've occupied the game they were there. so crisp and so clear. They're too heavily and armed. the we one thing I've noticed closer. about, like, Sega CD, which is supposed Maybe to be, you know, better than the cartridge based system, is Mega that Man, I'm going with you. sometimes, well, no, I noticed with my Sega CD, that sometimes it. the uh, audio doesn't play but when it's supposed to play. Like, it'll play for All some right. parts, but then it'll stop playing, and you then it'll try to pick up again. Play? I'm not sure if that's because of my Sega Wait, CD, or if that's just because of the disc, or what. Wait, where do you and think you're going? Most of my Sega CD's discs are pretty scratched up. Possibly do. I really need to buy some uh, CD, uh, CDRs, because um, Sega never put a copyright protection, a copy protection on their uh, system, so you can pirate games pretty easily. Well, then again, in the 90s, uh, a DV a CD burner, I guess, wasn't uh, wasn't a budget really a budget item like it is today. You where you can just pick one up for about forty bucks. We're not gonna let you I um I'm so just thinking about all the times I've spent playing this game. Like I remember the summer I got this game. Like I had um, I had been 64 for a while, but then I went over to a friend's house and I actually got this game. When I first got this game, the game didn't work because the contacts were all corroded. So I spent so much time trying to clean the contacts and whatnot. And the game is still a little bit touchy, but I still get it to work though. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you some of the battle mechanics. Right now, um, it's by far one of my favorite games. Also. No, if you've ever played Mega Man Legends um, or Mega Man 64, you know that um, you actually, when you beat the game on normal the first time, within a certain amount of time, I believe you get you know another um, item unlocked for the first game uh, for, the, for the next time you play. So it kind of gives you um, you know a chance, like a little bit of replay value. Even though um, when I actually got this card, it was already used and somebody had already beaten it and gotten everything unlocked. They got uh, easy mode, uh, hard mode. Actually, I gotta play the game in hard mode, see how much a challenge that is. Um, they had uh, the jet skates unlocked, which I used there, and the Buster Max, which is the Buster Max pretty much just, as you see, just kind of <laughs> destroys everything in your path. You could probably win a battle with just the Buster. Um, if you do not have to use any special items to, in order to defeat some of the bosses or, make, or weaken them. Um, also, I had a little bit of a problem finding the key with this game, with this uh, playthrough, because I thought the key was a sign, 
and just sitting out there in the middle of the road, so I didn't think anything of it. So I'm looking around, you know, thinking that one of the bots has the keys. So yeah. I I just love this game, you know, so much. It's I'm really upset that Capcom cancelled Mega Man Legends 3 because that was gonna be the only reason I bought a 3DS. And I mean the only reason. Um, as, as you see, I've forgotten some of the controls, too. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe if a, uh, new Legend of Zelda comes out that's only for 3DS, maybe, I don't know. I actually even traded my original DS in, and I, I just keep my DSi now. Um, I have a Game Boy Advance now, so I can just play my Game Boy games, but... Honestly, it's, it's been a very long time since I picked up a handheld. I've been mostly doing console stuff. Um, I still haven't finished Spear Tracks or, uh, or the other one. I mean, I guess, they're, I guess they're fun, but it's just, you know, how often will I be able to sit down and just play with a handheld, you know? Because I can't really play it in the car. Because it's, um, <coughs> it hurts my neck a little bit too much. Sorry about the cough there. Yeah, but, I mean, the graphics in this game, although some can argue that they're muddy, I mean, in some places they are a little bit muddy. I mean, I'll agree with that. You know, but you gotta remember, this is an N64 game. This is not, uh, Xbox 360. This is an Xbox 360 game, you know. And this was just made, not a remake or anything like that. Oh. You know. Then I would say, oh my god, the graphics, you know, are awful. But this is N64 from 1996, I believe. And so I, I think the graphics are really good for this time. I mean, they're crisp, they're colorful. I don't want to hear about that. Do you um, know what the, voice, done? the voice acting is huh? great. I've I mentioned yeah, that lot. many times. Although some people Look. say it's kind of cheesy, you have known better than to pick but a fight gotta with remember this is the '90s. I mean, if you agree to become and, one of my friends, the '90s were a cheesy time in America. You. I don't understand how uh, what do how we could have possibly to come to this to day and age. I don't think so. Although I kind of wish nowadays was kind of still a cheesy time. You know what I mean? you turned it down. Don't come back to me later. Um, I, the controls are great, I mean, I remember when I first got an N64, I didn't understand how to use a controller, because I didn't understand how I was supposed to wrap my hand all around it, but then, I f finally figured it out, and I actually, and I actually feel bad about this, I had to watch a video, like the, that, when the uh, N64 first debuted, about how to use the controller, because I was, I was just so mind boggled. But I, I finally got it, got it, so... Yeah. So basically, this um, battle scene is I, I'm so, just about over. I, mean, um, I want to thank you guys for watching that. this, and uh, I'll have more I'll like little that. reviews coming up, probably. Uh, more Let's Plays, and etc. But yeah, I might even do some more reviews of this game, because I, I just love this game so much. You know, this is probably one of my favorite Mega Man games. Mega Man X is great too, but I can I, I can't get past Sigma. So anyway, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, you can see two different types of cutscenes. I don't understand why Capcom did this, but it's it's still okay. This is one this, this is the one with uh, more cinematic ones. I like the cinematic ones better. So yeah, um, I believe that's all for now. I want to thank you guys for watching this because this is. I actually had a lot of fun making this, like, when I was playing the game, you know, and just exploring a little bit before I got to actually, you know, reviewing it. I, um, had a lot of fun re living some of the memories, so, yeah, guys, I want to thank you for watching, uh, and see you later.